Now at 5.30, sentencing day for a young man convicted of animal cruelty. But the sentencing didn't quite go quite as prosecutors had planned. The teen faced time behind bars for setting a caged cat on fire. Prosecutors say he then watched the cat die. But the judge decided to go in a different direction. CBS 4's Peter Dench was in court for today's sentencing and has reaction. 19-year-old Roberto Hernandez was 17 when prosecutors say he committed a horrible crime. They say he's captured here on videotape at his family's Southwest Miami-Dade farm in July of 2016, striking matches and setting a cat on fire while he watched it writhe in pain. He was charged with animal cruelty and a prosecutor asked for jail time. Uh, the reason why we're asking for 364 is the atrocious nature of this crime, Your Honor. He, um, as you know, the facts of the case, this was a very brutal case in which a cat or possibly as a defense claim, this may be a raccoon, was burned alive. But the judge said she believed the animal was a raccoon. I also reviewed the videos in this case, and while they are extremely disturbing, I will point out that from my vantage point, um, what the defense's position has been all along from the beginning was that it was a raccoon, and it does appear to be a raccoon. Notwithstanding that, I don't think a raccoon should be treated in that manner either. And the judge addressed that while talking to Hernandez. I do believe that it was, in fact, a raccoon based on the early frames I saw of the video. That being said, uh, this is not, I understand that, you, that you're helping with your family's farm. I understand that, you know, raccoons had rabies at that time. I understand what the motivation and the mindset may have been. That being said, is going forward, it is not okay. She gave Hernandez a sentence that does not include jail time. Fernandez, I'm going to accept your plea of guilt. I'm going to withhold adjudication. I'm going to sentence you to five years of reporting probation. Special condition is going to be 100 hours of community service. Hernandez and his mother had no comment as they left court. The animal rights group PETA had wanted Hernandez to serve 364 days behind bars. A spokeswoman told us that PETA was incredibly disappointed and felt that a slap on the wrist like this endangers the whole community. Meanwhile, Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle said in a statement that her office has a top priority pursuing such animal abuse cases and will continue to do so. At the Metro Justice Building, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.